Hi guys! Hey everyone! Welcome to Make 2 and a Sims 4 house tour. Those of you who have been watching our Sims 4 University videos, just tilting us over here to show off the university. There is the science building and we can also see the dorm room way off there, yep. And the main administration building. All the way in the distance. And the cafeteria. <laughs> <laughs> the whole thing we can see. Yeah, there is a reason that we built this particular house on this lot close to the university and that is because we're going to be using it as not a dormitory but like off-campus housing for our Eden Cho Let's Play Season 2. Mm -hmm. And the reason we're doing that is because the campus itself is classified as a library, which means Sims won't be able to live on it, but Sims will be able to wander in and out of it. So we needed a place where a bunch of students could actually live, and also for that place to be near the university. Yeah. So um, this is that house. Mm -hmm. The other thing is the university is a 64 by 64 lot on like <laughs> 19 floors. So it's really hard to find anyone on there. So it's yeah. nice to have somewhere a bit smaller, a bit more manageable, yeah. where we can keep track of our Sims. Basically, this house is, I want to say it's somewhat inspired by a recent trip that we took to Iceland. And I don't know if this is like a typical Icelandic house or Scandinavian kind of Nordic kind of modern house, but it's a house that we stayed in while we were there and the front of the house kind of came out in a point, not flat like this, but in a point, and the roof extended out over that point and the point was all glass so it gave lots of panoramic views of a really gorgeous mountain landscape where we're staying. And I couldn't do that exactly in Sims 4 because the roof wouldn't extend that way, but I went with a modified version of yeah. that, and so that's why you have this kind of flat design here. But the wraparound porch is very similar, the shape of the house is very similar, with wings on either side, which we're going to see more of. And as we go inside, you'll see the inside is also very similar to the house we stayed at, where there was a common area in the middle, open plan living yeah. common area. So this is a little bit bigger, it's designed for more people, our one was probably more maximum kind of four or five people. Mm -hmm. um, it was an Airbnb house, it was someone's actual house, and it was really amazing to stay there. This, you said, has two wings, Yeah. and this has what capacity for eight people? Yep. The plan is to have a maximum household of eight people living in this. So if we go in the front door, we see, as I said, the open plan living. Off to one side is a yeah. seating area, lots <laughs> uh, of couches. Students. Yeah. Yeah. And <laughs> again, just Cheap seats. bear in mind Big that TV. yeah, it's <laughs> meant to be a house where students live. And so that's why the couches are more of the kind of beat up looking couches and there is a movie projector screen <laughs> rather than a TV, because why yeah, not? That's pretty impressive. There's an iPad and some cool headphones on the table. Mm -hmm. But yeah, a lot of focus on <laughs> on entertainment. I was just laughing because I was looking at that margarita cocktail yes, lamp. Yes, that too as well. <laughs> just funny. I just tried to go for some little touches in here with, you know, the idea of students just kind of living a bit free for all and um, not caring so much about decoration, although of course I did want to try and make it look nice. So as you walk in the front door immediately you have a place for a shoe rack, his and hers, because the sims who are going to live here are going to be both male and female, mm -hmm. and also a place to toss the mail and books. And then on the other side of the room is communal dining. Very here. nice, yeah, with space for eight people, which is perfect. Mm -hmm. And Ketchup and vinegar on the table. <laughs> and salt and pepper. Yeah. yeah. And then back here is the kitchen. So there is just a big island here, again, with room for, although I think this is not... No, I think it's seven. seven yeah. yeah, but seven people sitting One around. One cooking, all, maybe. Exactly, yeah. yeah. And on the counter here, you've got an ice cream maker and a popcorn <laughs> maker. Now, yeah, essentials. They've also got like a coffee grinder and a coffee machine. Mm -hmm. Yeah, they've got all the mod cons here. Wait, not, not coffee grinder. This is a teapot. Oh, it's, sorry, yeah. it was the wrong angle. Yeah. Yeah. And basically, as you can see, there's a big old blue theme here, but I yeah. did try to go for touches of color in the rugs and, Yeah, you know, I like that subway tile backsplash yes, for the kitchen. Yes, exactly. Subway tile is what I was going mm -hmm. for. Yeah. And, and a little office nook there. Mm -hmm. And that's got yellow and red accent touches. And there's another one actually over here because right. since this is a student accommodation, 
they need to have more than one computer in the house, otherwise yeah. there's going to be some friction. So I have two questions. First of all, underneath this unit here, yes, that is a stove. Did that come with it or did you put that in? I put that in there. Cool. Yeah. And these are the only two computers. There's these two computers and the tablet. That's it for computers. Yep. Yeah, because Sims flock to computers yeah. like cats to catnip. So having them just in the communal area is a really good idea, I think, because then it means the Sims are going to be in the communal area together. The students won't just wander off to their rooms. Yeah, and I purposefully only put two in because I wanted there to be some reason for Sims to have maybe a bit of friction, but just, you know... Oh, fighting over the computers. Yeah, because... Interesting. Yeah, well, you'll see in the Let's Play, but we set things up specifically yeah. to have, like, maybe a bit of personality conflict in the house, because that just makes for a more interesting story. Mm -hmm. I like these really big paintings on the wall here. Yeah, this has been enlarged. <laughs> right. <laughs> and then over on the other side is another painting, just, or not painting, a but a cluster of yeah. paintings. So, this wing is the girl's wing. Let's go ahead and put some... No, sorry. It's the boys' wing. the boys' wing, yeah. sorry. Yeah, this is the boys' wing, and what we've got is two beds per room, two mm -hmm. twin beds. So everyone is sharing, mm -hmm. yeah. And they each have their own closet, and this room has just an armchair. And they, yeah, fight over the chair. Or, <laughs> in, realistically, in my experience, fight over who gets to put their dirty laundry on the chair. Well, there is actually dirty laundry in one of the rooms, not this one, <laughs> but... Um, and then there's a full-length mirror. Yeah. And these guys also share a bathroom with the other room, which we'll see in a bit. But I have gone ahead and put a male-only door so that we don't have the female sins wandering into their bathroom. But basically, this is their vanity space here, so they have two sinks. And then this here is the tub and toilet space, mm -hmm. also enclosed off by a male-only right. door. But that means the... One of the guys can be brushing their teeth and another one could be having a shower exactly. at the same time, which is very sensible. Yep. So then this is the other room for two more male sims. Yeah. And, and there there's is the, the laundry. laundry. Which looks to me, always does, like a rubber chicken with like a t-shirt on top. Yeah. The, a rubber chicken wearing a t-shirt. The artistry is kind of hard to see yeah. unless you're like really up close <laughs> yeah, to yeah, it. Yeah. Yeah. But this room has the bed set up a bit differently. They're mm -hmm. kind of foot to foot like that. Yeah. And they've just got some posters and... Um, a bookcase. Yeah, a bookcase area. Yeah. Very nice. Yeah. Now, on the other side of the house, we've this got the, the wing for the girls. Yeah. Yep. So, this is room number one. They've Very got... Nice. They each have their own chair. Yes. Lucky them. This is going to be... This is the best room in the house. <laughs> so, I purposefully, in this room, went for some similar touches to Bon Eden's room, because this oh, is going Eden's to be room. her room. Yeah. Oh, okay. So she's got these two egg chairs in her room at home, and she's also got this bookcase and this mirror in her room at home. So I wanted there to be some similarities. And I think the wallpaper is... The wall paint is the same color and all of that. Okay. And then they also have a similar setup with sharing the bathroom. Yeah. Although I think I forgot to switch over the toiletries. I think these are male toiletries. Oh, right. I originally had the rooms in the other direction, but anyway. Yeah, they share the bathroom as well. And then here is the other bedroom for yeah. the girls. With a nice different layout here again. Mm -hmm. with kind of This time they have a plant. Between, yeah, but yeah. as you, yeah, you're right. The, the bed's kind of at 90 perpendicular. Degrees, yeah. 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 And they have a mirror there. Mm -hmm. And then off the back of the house, we've got another really big porch area for the kids to hang out. And they've got nice colored lights like this. Really long picnic table cool. here. And grill and cooler, if I can get up close to that. E oh, yep, you can see it just in the corner. Yeah, there it is, yeah. yeah. Grill and cooler. Mm -hmm. and, and then a whole out bunch here, of chairs. Yeah, that's nice. Chairs to sit around, uh, bonfire kind of thing. And the reason for this is because, obviously, the setting out here in Windenburg is very mountainous and rocky, so yeah. I wanted the house to take some inspiration from that landscape and have something similar in the backyard. So yeah. they've also got a place to, you know, have wood to add to the fire and then over here just a few stumps to sit on <laughs> if they want to it's a nice touch and then well, here yeah, there's that game thing yep. throwing the hoop but i like how yeah it's clearly been left a little bit natural mm -hmm. there's not tons of landscaping there because students aren't going to take care of the yard very nicely anyway <laughs> true yeah and again the idea behind this is just for it to be some off-campus housing for students to 
live together and maybe fight a little bit, <laughs> but also make some lifelong friendships and connections, hopefully. We hope so, yeah. yeah. So, yeah, you're very, very soon going to see this house in action with all of its eight occupants. Mm -hmm. So stay tuned for that. Yep. So in the meantime, if you are new to our channel, please feel free to subscribe and feel free to let us know in the comments what you think as well. And stay tuned because we've got plenty more Sims 4 on the way. Thanks for watching.